I'm Ben with Sentry Software, and today I'd like to talk about what I think are the top three new features in Hardware Sentry 3.0. To start things off, let's talk about installation. Hardware Sentry now comes as an RPM, DEB, or MSI installer, so installation on Debian, Docker, Red Hat, and Windows is now quick and easy. Another improvement in Hardware Sentry 3.0 that can greatly simplify setup is the ability to group hosts that share the same characteristics in the monitoring configuration. Say for example you have several Dell servers that you're monitoring using SNMP v1 and the public community string. Previously you had to configure each host individually and provide their credentials and connection information one at a time. Now you can just list the servers to be monitored and specify their common settings one time. Finally, another big feature that's been added to Hardware Sentry 3.0 is self-monitoring. Hardware Sentry is now observable as it sends data about its own performance and status to your preferred observability backend so you can have peace of mind that your monitoring infrastructure is healthy and operational. So I hope that you're as thrilled as I am with these new features in Hardware Sentry 3.0. They're not all that's been added though. Harbor Sentry now includes all the OpenTelemetry collector contrib components, which allow it to work on a variety of systems and with any observability backend that supports OpenTelemetry. There's also added support for stronger authentication, additional metrics, more logging, and more. If you want to see the exhaustive list of changes, you can read the release notes or download the product from our website at sentrysoftware.com. Check out our other videos to see the product in action. And don't forget, Harbor Sentry is free to use, so give it a try. Thanks for watching.